This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, October the 11th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. And this is not your typical October across central Alabama. There's a look at the SkyCam network early this morning from Trustville. And the roads were wet. Looks like the rain's moving out slowly and we should have a little lull in the action. And there's a look at Jasper SkyCam. And indeed, the streets are wet, but the rain had ended at that particular time. The weather pattern at the surface shows uh, general high pressure over the southeastern U.S., but we do have a frontal boundary that is stretched and draped across the area from the Carolinas and Virginia across uh, north uh, Alabama and into central Arkansas before becoming a cold front down into Texas. In the upper atmosphere, we're under southwesterly flow, and you can see a nice plume of moisture there coming from Texas all the way up into uh, the uh, southeastern U.S. and across uh, parts of uh, the Ohio River Valley. We're watching the development of a trough that will be bringing a very dynamic system to the area on uh, Monday and into Tuesday. The frontal boundary is uh, noted on the surface uh, map with temperatures generally to the north of the boundary in the 60s and generally in the lower 70s to the south. And you can see the kind of the wind changes there. And we do have a good deal of fog across the south part of Alabama. There's a look at uh, radar this morning, and uh, we do have this uh, large plume of moisture and rain coming all the way from Texas up into the uh, Tennessee area. On the, the uh, watch warning map, we have a number of winter weather advisories for cold across uh, the area, uh, centered primarily on about Iowa there, northern Missouri, and uh, back into parts of Nebraska. Across Arkansas and uh, the Mid-South area of Memphis, we see some flash flood watches. And then across the area to the south of us, uh, around uh, uh, Panama City and Dothan, we have a dense fog advisory, and that should be ending. QPF-wise, we uh, expect to see a good deal of rain over the next uh, three or three to five days as, uh, as that frontal boundary stays draped in the area before the, the squall line and the front moves through the area. On, uh, on Monday and uh, into Tuesday. For the Storm Prediction Center, they're uh, not mentioning any specific slight risk area for day one. Day two, we see a slight risk area uh, centered primarily on Oklahoma. And then on day three, which is uh, the Monday into Tuesday time frame, we see a uh, nice slight risk area that is uh, centered on the lower Mississippi River Valley. So uh, it looks like a very dynamic weather system. And the tropics are also somewhat active. We have three systems. We're dealing with subtropical storm Fay, uh, And then we have a couple of other systems back uh, across the South Atlantic. Uh, Fay is forecast to continue recurving into the Atlantic and then remain a subtropical storm as it brushes close to Bermuda, just to the south and southeast. And none of those other areas are expected to develop any time in the immediate future. All right, let's get to the 06E GFS model run. And uh, there's a look at our surface pattern for today and definitely a wet pattern across the northern uh, third of the state of Alabama as uh, we have this frontal boundary draped in the area. By Sunday, the, the trough to our west begins to take shape as, uh, as it digs in uh, from the central Rockies and digs into the central part of the United States. And uh, that should help to reduce some of the showers a little bit as the next system begins to take shape. But still showers are a good possibility for us on Sunday. Monday, we see that the, the trough has uh, developed nicely and become a closed low as the trough begins to move across the central Mississippi River Valley. Uh, and so that dynamic system is going to be bringing uh, pr probably will be a squall line and uh, a good surface low over Missouri with a 998 surface low and a cold front stretching down into East Texas. Uh, by the time we get to around uh, midnight, uh, just 1 a.m., the GFS is suggesting perhaps a squall line approaching our area. Uh, and coming into northwest Alabama. There's a little bit of differences on the timing, but it does look like in the overnight hours, Monday night and into Tuesday morning. Uh, severe weather is a good possibility here as Cape values are uh, uh, pretty high. We're talking about values on the order of 1,000 to 2,000 joules per kilogram. And uh, we see that the Cape values drop off by the time we get uh, to uh, the early morning hours. 
Uh, also looking at uh, helicity values, we see that the helicity values, the shear, uh, is up there. So isolated tornadoes are a possibility too. And looking briefly at the NAM, uh, which gives us a simulated uh, radar, and we see that it looks like it could be a fairly substantial squall line. Uh, this is about 1 a.m. Little differences in timing between the GFS and the NAM, but certainly uh, in the early morning hours of Tuesday morning, it seems like a really good possibility. Uh, going back to our GFS forecast, and we can see that that Closed low and trough come by the area fairly quickly on Tuesday, so that should mean a fairly quick end to the precipitation and perhaps even uh, clearing by the time we get to Tuesday afternoon, especially across western section sections of central Alabama. That closed low and trough move out, and we come under ridging on uh, Wednesday, so that should uh, really dry us out and cool us off. Uh, we should see some Temperatures into the 40s for morning lows Wednesday morning and highs only in the lower 70s, so a br brisk and beautiful day. Ridging becomes the factor on Thursday, so we stay dry Thursday. And again, Friday, it looks like the westerlies become a little more to our north. And the result is that uh, with a dry atmosphere in place, even though we have a good trough going by, it looks like we should stay dry for Friday. So any football games look like they should be okay, at least right now. By the time we get out to Saturday, a week from today, uh, that trough is moving into New England and the mid-Atlantic states. And uh, so once again, we're coming under ridging, so it does look like we stay dry. Now, that looks like uh, October is not going to stay typical. Uh, we see another strong uh, trough, another deep trough over the central Mississippi River Valley around the 21st. So this is the 20th, 21st would be another wet event. And then by the time we get out to the end of the period, uh, we see a closed low out in the vicinity of the Four Corners area and a nice trough over the Rockies. But that ridging is also providing southwesterly flow. So uh, it could be that we'll see cloudy periods and maybe even some moisture. But that's voodoo. We'll see that when we get there. Thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. Expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning by about 8 a.m. Have a great day. Godspeed.